So this is the fix the pool wall project, which starts with having to hook up the pump, drop the line right down to the ground, so I can actually pump this water out at about two horsepower, rather than doing it manually. And this is why we're doing this. We need to put a repair in here. Um, post haste because of this uh, unfortunateness over here which has just happened over time um, as you can see this is still leaking pretty bad so we're gonna have to take it down the water to about here probably here to get this patch in place uh, with a piece of a nice little chunk of corrugated steel or uh, sheet metal rather so I gotta pop these to get access to the back there I gotta rivet these into the sidewall give it a nice new uh, structure there to hang on to um, probably these two have to go in order for me to peel the liner back and then I should be in good shape but uh, not too difficult, just a real pain in the ass. And then I gotta, of course, sand that down, treat it with gel remover so it stops rotting there. Um, and I'm hoping it isn't also uh, goofy on the other side as well, but I don't know. Anyway, this is the beginning. So, the pumping is going fairly well. As you can see, that's at about two horsepower worth of pump. Running out, I have the, the inlet line on a bypass this has been running for about oh, I don't know an hour and a half starting to get close to where I need to to uh, get this repair executed um, as you can see I need to be able to pop those rails and, and get it that inlet and uh, get that sucker off and repair that sidewall before I start pumping more water back into this thing, but I think I might let nature help out with that. But pretty soon, be uh, popping those rails and getting the rest of it going. You know, nature's amazing. This bird's nest here was actually up inside one of these housings on the side of the pool. I mean, it's a pretty good sized nest, you know. Um, not sure what was living under there, but this is our galvanized sheet metal that we're gonna put in here. So what I plan to do is actually marry this hole up with that new sheet metal, draw as much as I can where the circle was, and then use the gasket to finish the inner diameter of that on the sheet metal. And then I'm gonna cut it out a little bit with my Dremel and then use tin snips to make it actually round. Um, and then what I'm gonna have to do to come in and cut this square out a little bit to get rid of all that serious rot because this is all as you can see uh, not really viable and I need a clean area for the new gasket seal to go on so I've got to trim this out at least at least around it make a square window if you will and, and that's the goal uh, then drill out all the individual holes and uh, as you can see I've got my handy dandy little uh, angled head uh, drill that will help me to be able to get in there um, to drill to match up all those little holes I've already pre-drilled in the sheet metal without having to maybe injure the liner at all. So that's a very important part of this. On to the next steps. So uh, as you can see here I have cut out my pilot hole with my handy dandy Dremel tool, which I, I can honestly say I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have this tool. It's one of my favorite things to work on, work with as a tool goes. So now I'm going to just cut these out a little bit uh, across, because the one thing it doesn't really do good is re really tight circular cuts. So what I intend to do is cut them across here so I have less work to do with the tin snips to make this as round as I possibly can. So here we have the finished hole. As you can see, I took a uh, deburring edge on my Dremel 
and just ran it across the entire length of this piece so that in fact it eliminates really sharp edges because we certainly don't want that you know anything impeding the lining or the seal um, from being able to be made so I just kind of got rid of those there now it's down to cut the hole in the pool okay so now I've got my ugly little porthole carved here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, rivet this thing down and then tape down the rivets in the edges of the sheet metal so that they never touch the lining and then we'll do a quick test lineup and make sure that I've got their hole in the right spot yeah forgot to mention coat of rust-oleum anywhere the the unit might come in contact with the water is probably not a bad idea either same on the uh, the actual metal as you can see here I've painted the, that side and I'll actually uh, I think I can leave the back side okay because it's it's just going to be up against the liner wall but I might give that a coat as well but I, I think it'll be fine just having it on this end so here's what I'm going to say about this repair job a couple things um, I originally put my rivets in the outer edges all along the entire large piece as you can see and it goes back here on the other side um, well, if I get my fat head out of the way, um, it goes all the way down there. And then once I actually installed it, I realized I actually wanted to rivet um, additional rivets along the edges of this piece, just to give it a little bit more stability since it's going to hold the weight of the hose, which I also believe had a lot to do with why these things rot out. There's an awful lot of pressure constantly on that inlet, and it vibrates and shakes that area, that hole, but uh, around my house, this is what we call a 2020, which means it looks great from uh, 20 yards away at 20 miles an hour. Um, one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is that you uh, really get a good amount of tape. I know this is difficult to see. Um, all along the edge of the new sheet metal to make sure that there's no edge of it um, sticking up that could ever possibly come in contact with your liner. Um, because that would just be horrific, real bad news. But uh, there you see, I've got my hole and I've got my inlet uh, ready to go back together. But I'm gonna let this all dry up and I'll probably tackle that in the morning because I have to put all these rails back. Uh, and then it'll be ready to fill back up. But uh, this was my uh, attempt to fix a problem that had been bothering me for a couple of years and uh, I'm hoping that it uh, that it lasts quite a while or at least gives me a few more years before I have to turn this thing into a rock garden but um, for now hopefully it'll be uh, up and running and happy by June take care